Hello friends, this video on determinant part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 9. Understand property 2. Property 2 says that if you interchange the rows or columns, the sign of determinant change. That is interchange row or column. This implies change of sign. I can, you can remember like this also. See, change interchange. You interchange row and column row 1 with row 2 or row 3 with row 2 like that example row 1 with row 2 or this is a symbol of interchange or row 2 interchange with row 3 column 1 interchange with column 3 column 1 change with column 2 like that if you interchange rows or columns the sign of determinant change so let this be my uh, determinant of a particular matrix and now let me interchange a particular row. So what I'm doing is I'm moving this row here and this row here. That is R1 and R3 are interchanged. I got this. Now let me also try to interchange column now. So what I'm doing is this is my column 1 and column 3. I'm interchanging them. So what I get is instead of a1, b1, c1, I get a3, b3, c3 and here instead of a3, b3, c3, I get a1, b1, c1. This is nothing but c1 interchange with c3. So I have two scenarios and first this is my original uh, determinant and here the determinant I got by interchanging rows and here I got by interchanging column. I'll prove that the value I get in the first case and second case and third case are different. The value I get in second case is minus of first case. The value I get in third case is also minus of first case because this is my source actually. This is my source. From this only I got two targets. From this I got this target and from this only I got this target. So both are, I mean I got both these using this source. So the first value determinant is something which we have found so many times. So I can just write this value. I remember this by heart. I can write this a1 into b2 c3 b2 c3 minus uh, b3 c2 minus a2 into i think a2 then i have to ignore these guys b1 c3 b1 c3 minus b3 c1 plus i take a3 then a3 into b1 c2 minus b2 c1 so these things we have derived so many times. So this is my value of the first one determinant of my source matrix. Now let me find this guy determinant 2. I have to prove that determinant I have to prove that determinant 2 is equal to minus determinant and minus determinant 1 also is minus determinant. That is what I have to prove. So let me first take determinant 1. Determinant 1, what I can do is, I can use the same formula, I can use the same, uh, this one. Since my values which I have already found, which I have to compare now is on the form A1 into something, A2 into something, A3 into something. So let me take this row. I can take any of these, but again I have to expand this and rearrange. But if I take these, my life is simple. I need not rearrange and all. So I'm just taking this because it makes my life simple. So I'll take the first element and this guy is nothing but A31, correct? So for A31 is positive, uh, even, so I'll use positive here. This guy is 32, odd, I'll use negative here and this guy is 33, so positive. So let me write this then. This guy becomes A1 into, once I select A1, this guy and this guy is gone. That is row 3, column 1 is gone. I'm left with these guys, correct? So I get right like this C2 B3 C2 B3 and B2 C3. This is the element I got minus I get minus for this because I have seen it is I plus J is odd here A2 into I select A2 row 3 is gone column 2 is gone I am left with C1 C3 B1 B3 C1 C3 B1 B3 
plus a3 i because i plus j is uh, even here once i select a3 row 3 is gone column 3 is gone i am left with c1 c2 b1 b2 c1 c2 b1 b2 sorry now let me find the value so if you solve this this is nothing but a1 into c2 b3 c2 b3 minus b2 c3 minus a2 into this guy is c1 b3 minus b1 c3 and this guy is plus a3 into multiply these c1 b2 minus b1 c2 b1 c2 so this is what i get if you compare these two what you can see this it is b2 c3 minus b3 c2 it is reverse way c2 b3 minus b2 c3 similarly here also and here also so i can write this as nothing but you take big minus here a1 into you swap this because i took a minus here so this becomes b2 c3 minus c2 b3 minus a2 into same thing swap here so this becomes b2 sorry b1 c3 minus c1 b3 and plus a3 into swap this also b1 c2 minus c1 b2 correct so what you can see here is this guy is nothing but minus of this guy this is the number minus of this so what i prove that this guy triangle one or determinant of this is nothing but minus of determinant of this because whatever inside minus is exactly equal to compare is exactly same you can show you a1 into b2 c3 minus b3 c2 exactly same minus a2 into b1 c3 minus b1 b3 c1 c1 here a3 into b1 c2 b1 c2 minus b2 c1 b2 c1 exactly same similarly you can do the same thing for this guy so once you have perform a column operation you got this determinant you find determinant of this and then you will see that that is also equal to minus of let's take some example on this problem before going to example just memory tip remember interchange rows with some other row or column with some other column you sign also change so we have to again uh, in this uh, example what we can do is we can take this uh, matrix determinant of this matrix will uh, interchange a row or column and then we'll see what is the value so what i'll do is i'll interchange these guys row 1 and row 2 i'll get a matrix i'll find determinant of both and try to see what is the value so let me first find this let's suppose this is my oh, determinant first and determinant 1 is nothing but i get by changing row or uh, row row 1 to row 3 so i swap row 1 with row 2 i get this guy and so row 1 will become row 2 this becomes 0 to minus 1 will come here so row 2 will become row 1 so this guy 2 minus 1 minus 2 will come here and row 3 is intact no change correct so i have got these two determinants let me find the value and i have to prove that row 1 is nothing but minus of determinant 1 is nothing but minus determinant so let me find determinant first to do this what i can do is again i'll take this guy because it's simple for me this operation 2 into right like this 2 into 2 into 0 or you want i can write in this fashion to if you are not comfortable this matrix correct minus minus 1 why minus 1 because this is positive this is negative this is positive i plus j is uh, for this guy is even or even so minus of minus 1 because this guy is minus 1 and this matrix here determinant here actually if you select this you can select this guy 0 0 and uh, 3 minus 1 so it is 3 minus 1 
sorry, zero minus one and three zero. Zero minus one, three zero. Again plus minus two into and this guy zero to three minus five. Zero to three minus five. Why like this? Because we have already uh, selected two, so I can't select this row and this column. So I have to select these guys. So if you solve this, what you get is two into two into zero is zero, and minus one into minus five is again uh, five. So zero minus five plus one by because minus one into minus one is plus one. One into zero into zero is zero. Minus one into three is minus three. So minus of minus three. Plus minus two. I guess a minus here because minus into plus is minus. Minus two into zero into minus five is zero. Minus two into three is six. This is nothing but a light here only. Two into minus five is minus ten. One into plus three is three. And minus of two into minus six is plus twelve. So what I get here is five. Similarly, let me find determinant one. Determinant one for this, I'll use the same thing. I'll expand using row, uh, first row. This guy is zero. So select this guy. I can can't select this uh, row and this column. Left with this element minus one, and this guy is minus two, minus five, zero. Minus one, minus two, minus five, zero. Plus, sorry, minus. Why minus? Because i plus j is positive, uh, even here, odd here, even here. So minus two into. You select this guy. You can't select row one. You can't select column two. You are left with two minus two, three and zero. Two minus two, three and zero. Now the third guy minus one plus minus one into. You select minus one. You can't select row one, column three. Left with two minus one, three minus five. Two minus one, three minus five. Correct. So if you are done with all these, what you get. Is zero into some things like ignore this part zero minus two into two into zero is zero minus three into minus two is minus six minus one into plus plus into minus is minus two into five is minus ten two into minus five is minus ten minus one into minus three is minus three. So what you get here is minus of two into this guy is six minus two into six minus this guy is one into minus ten plus three that is seven minus seven correct so this becomes minus twelve plus seven that is minus five so if you see this this guy is five this guy is minus five. So I can say that this guy is nothing but minus of row, right? This guy is five, and this guy is minus five. Thus, I prove the property two using an example. If you interchange two rows or two columns, then the sign also interchange. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.